In this problem, we're told that f prime of x is negative 3 sine x over 2, and we're told to find f of x, and we're given this initial condition. Find f of x if f of 0 is equal to negative 2. Okay, we're trying to find f given the derivative of f. So let's take the antiderivative of this function here. So f of x is going to be the antiderivative of a negative sine function. Well, what function has the negative sine function as its derivative? Well, that would be the cosine function. So let's write cosine x over 2. Now This isn't quite right. If we take the derivative of this, we want to get f prime right there. So what happens when we take the derivative of cosine x over 2? Well, the derivative of the cosine function is negative sine function, so we have negative sine x over 2 times 1 half by that chain rule. So we don't want to have a times 1 half, we want to have a times 3. So we're off by a factor of 6. So I'm going to put a 6 in here and I'm going to write it out front. Okay, and now just check, take the derivative of this, and so the, the derivative of what we have there, the derivative of that is going to be 6 times the derivative of that, and the derivative of cosine x over 2 is negative sine x over 2 times the derivative of the inner function, and there you see that 6 and the 1 half gives us the 3, and we have our negative sign right there. So that is correct. So I'll erase this. So this is the, if this is the derivative, this is the function. And then we need to put a plus c on there. Now what we're trying to do is figure out what number this actually is in this case. And we can find that out because we're given this piece of information right here. I know that if x is 0, if I put in a 0 right here for x, that this will come out to be negative 2. So let's write that. Let's write negative 2 is 6 times cosine of 0 over 2 plus c. And now the only thing unknown in here is c, so we can find that. So what's the cosine of 0? You should recognize that just on the unit circle. 0 angle is right there and it has a cosine of 1. So this becomes 1. So we just get negative 2 equals 6 times 1 plus c. So therefore c has to be negative 8. So the function then is this. f of x is 6 cosine x over 2 minus 8. That would be the answer to the question. We're told to find the function f, find f, if f of 0 is negative 2. And so we plugged in negative 2 when x was 0, right there, and found c, so now we had a number to put in there, and that's our answer.